Hi, it's me, Gide Larsen again. Today I want to demonstrate to you the third method for calculating the profitability of an investment uh, that you will be taught this semester. Now, you already had a look at the net present value or capital value method, the internal rate of return. So the third method here is called the annuity method. Now, what is an annuity? You might know the term. An annuity is a series of identical payments. So we use this method if our expectations to our future changes in income, demonstrated here in this investment profile that I have used in the previous videos, by looking at these columns, the blue columns here, to be an identical series of payments. Take a look, they are equally high, they are identical. Um, so if we have that scenario, we are going to use the annuity method to calculate um, the profitability of this investment. Now, I know that we have this little uh, scrap value over here, destroying our perfect picture of a series of identical payments. So, but we can handle that. Um, Excel will handle that for us in the function that we will use in Excel, but just for, for fun, let me tell you what Excel is doing in practice here. Excel is taking this scrap value, ooh, this scrap value, and discount it back four years in time, so it back to year zero where we did the investment, subtract it from the investment, so we have a net investment. And by that, we have an, a, a perfect series of identical payments. So we will, of course, demonstrate this in Excel. So what do we do when using the annuity method? What we do is we convert this net investment into a series of identical payments and then we compare it to the net payments. So what is this identical series of payment that we convert the investment into? That is called the capital service costs. Now the capital service costs are the average cost for interests and depreciation associated with the investment. Back when I was being taught this method, I told myself that I could compare this, that if this investment would in fact have been a loan and I would have to pay it back over the lifetime, the four years in our investment profile here, what would be my term? What would be the payment that I had to do the installment here over the four years if I would um, use that method? It's not correct to, tell, to say it like that, but it gave me a logic to understand what I was doing here. The capital service cost expresses the average cost of interest and depreciation associated with this investment. So what we do is we, we compare the capital service cost to the yearly net income. And when we do that, the profitability criteria for this method is that the yearly net income must be higher than or equal to the yearly capital service cost. We have to make a profit. So let's go over into Excel and do a simple example together here. So open Excel, open a new sheet. I have set this example in a little different way than I usually do. And I do that just to demonstrate that you can, this changes in, in income can be done in different ways, okay? So, but you always need these variables. So we need the investment sum in this case. The investment sum is 3,350,000. Now, do remember to check your separators. Not only type a dot, because I do, but use Excel function up here to set your own separator, depending on the keyboard you have and the Excel you have. So, that's the investment sum. We need a variable called the scrap value. Now, we have a scrap value here of 235,000. We have lifetime, the expected lifetime here, or financial lifetime, to be four years. And we have a calculation rate of 10%. So now we need to find the last variable that we need to calculate here, and that is the change in income. So I'll set it up in a little different way. So in this case, I am starting with the expected change in my com uh, contribution. So 
I have set this to be 675,000. A positive change in my contribution to be 675,000. I actually also expect by, by buying this machine, I can actually let one employee go and save some salary. So I have some salary savings here. I'm saving some cost for salary for one person. And I have set the salary of this employee to be 195,000. Now the machine needs a service every year. And this service, this maintenance, and maintain. I have set to cost 35,500. I set this number as a negative number because it's a cost. So my change in income, my payments change in income here is if I sum these numbers, 834,500. Now I forgot something. It's always nice when the teacher is doing a mistake, right? Remember, I taught you the last time we met, always set the investment sum as a negative number. Just on a short note. Okay. So now I want to calculate what is the capital service cost uh, associated with this investment. So for this, I need a function that is called PMT. Now I'm just going to write capital service costs. And to write that you need to find the function called PMT. T. Because, as you know, I have a different computer here, or a Danish computer. So find financial functions up here and find PMT. You will see this picture if you have found the correct function. It wants a rate, it wants NPER, lifetime, it wants a present value, PV, and a future value down here. Remember not to type in numbers, just use your data that you have corrected over here. So the calculation rate is 10%. Number of years, number of payments in this year's number of installments here, four. Now the present value of this is of course our investment sum. Therefore, the importance of the negative number because Excel wants a negative input here. And the future value of this is our scrap value. Press enter. So our capital service cost associated with this investment is 1,006,191.5. So what was our expected change in income? Let's go and pick up that number down here. Hmm. Make it nice here. So what are our net payments if we take our change in income and subtract our capital service costs. It is a negative number, 171,691.5. So in this case, we have a non-profitable, it is not profitable, this investment, if the company does not believe that they can actually make a, a, a further change in the net income, the change in income of 171,000. Kronos in this case. So that is some of the things that the company needs to consider. Do they believe that the, that this investment could add an, a further 171,000 uh, to become profitable? Or do they have to take a critical look at some of their assumptions over here, etc., uh, etc.? Et so that was the annuity method. And we will elaborate when we meet in class. Um, try to see if you can do the examples uh, in Excel and see if you can recreate the numbers. And then, then when we meet in class, ask some questions and we will, of course, do assignments together.